Hi, how's everybody doing? This is Oscar and Stacy Barva from Impact Marriage. Hello. Um, so, um, another one of our videos here, and uh, a lot of people have been asking how we met. Uh, and, and my wife would be happy to, to tell everybody how we met. Uh, I have to say, this is not my comfort zone, letting the whole world or letting the world into my details of my life. So, don't be so specific, Stacy Barva. But go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> we met in uh, March 1998. Wow, that's, that's a long, long time, time ago. That is a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and we, um, I was finishing up a, a fashion show uh, with one of my friends, and we went to a place after dinner um, called um, Chili's, our chain store. I never, I never go eat there, but that day I happened to go eat there. And Oscar was with he was <laughs> he was um, we went we had walked in we went with a like a group of about eight people and when we walked in it was super crowded that day and after we were get, trying to find a seat and there was no chairs but he was with his friend and they were getting ready to go take a seat and so he looked at us and he's like why don't you guys take our seat so right there I was like gentlemen gentleman radar girls make sure you find a gentleman because a gentleman's very important to have and you are <laughs> for she the was, most part she was she was hooked <laughs> she was hooked no. <laughs> and so anyways we went and we sat down at the table and we um, we were eating but the way that that restaurant was positioned is we were sitting at like an L shape so we were sitting in one booth and they were sitting in another booth and my friend was like you have to go over there you have to go over there because I had interest in him but I was too embarrassed because when I think somebody is attractive I'm too shy to say anything and uh, <laughs> and two other women went up to their table that night <laughs> and it, and obviously I won <laughs> Woohoo! Um, so anyways what ended up she happening did. She she did. Did. <laughs> So we went to the bathroom, and um, and when we came out, my friend Lorenzo said, "Stacy, I'm gonna go and introduce you." I'm like, "No, do not introduce me. I'm, I don't want you to introduce me. I'm too embarrassed." She's like, "No, I'm gonna do it." So she walks out of the bathroom, and literally stopped in front of his table, and she's like, "Hi, I'm Lorenzo. I work in a modeling agency. Have you ever thought about doing any type of um, modeling?" And my husband at the time. <laughs> at, that, at that point, I stopped, and uh, I said, uh, "I'm not quite the model material. You probably haven't seen me standing. I'm not the quite uh, the the <laughs> runway model material." Anyway, <laughs> and so, anyways, um, she ended up saying, "It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your height. It doesn't matter. You can do uh, your hands. You can do glasses. You can do your feet." Yeah, she was talking about modeling feet. That's what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and so, anyways. Um, I, and she's, I, I have done photography for her. I did headshots for the modeling agency at that time, uh, many years ago. And so she um, said, you know, Stacy, she does um, photo shoots. Why don't you have her do a headshot for you? And why don't you um, give her a phone call? So she sticks my phone number in the middle of the table. And um, after that, I guess the rest is history. He called me three days later. You have to do the three day, you know, old school in 90s. Three days, wait three days, then you call. That's what he did. And then about that time, we, we talked on the phone for about three weeks, and we finally met in a public place, because I was like, I don't know who he is. Um, and then after that, we just we started dating. Yeah. But Yeah, that, that's the way it was. Uh, <laughs> most of it, yeah, I agree. Um, but it's amazing what God does, you know, and, and God has a plan. Uh, I happened to be, before I went to Chili's, I happened to be in the restaurant next door, TGI Fridays, and I had sat down with my friend there. We, we even ordered uh, drinks, mm -hmm. and, um, and somebody told me, you know what, I don't feel like eating TGIF anymore. Um, let's just pay the, the bill for the drinks, and let's go next door to Chili's and, and have dinner. Amazing, right? I mean, amazing the way God, I, I truly believe that it was just God putting that in my heart to go next door and, and meet my your wife which I'm very happy uh, to have met her obviously and uh, I'm so in love with but um, me too. anyway that's the and way 
I want to tell. Ahead, I want, and then also, um, I also did do. I had I hadn't been dating at that time. I had I had not dated for about two, um, two years, and I and I was very particular at that time. I was like, I am not wasting time. I, I'm getting a, in my older twenties at that point. I'm like, I need to find somebody, um, and I just said, Lord, I I I I had been praying, and I said, Lord, I wanted a dark hair, tan skin, athletic, but a businessman. And I got every single thing I asked for, all wrapped into one. And I was telling, how come you didn't pray for a tall, dark hair business? Because height doesn't man, matter. Right? Who cares if anyway. they like you? Or they, everything else doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so that's our story. Legs. Yes, that's our story. Um, and man, just guys that are listening to this right now, these are the little things that you have to do for your wife. I'm, I was happily watching the playoffs, NFL football, yeah, but I'll take the time, do five Thank minutes you. for my wife, and guess what? Now I get to go back and watch football peacefully for the rest of the day because I did this. Woo-hoo! So take that. Take that advice, man. Just uh, do something for your wife, and so then cool. you're able to watch your football game yep. later. Until next anyway. time, we will see you next Sunday. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye.